Yep, we're actually doing this. What is up, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here in Wreckfest with some more mod gameplay once again. Back at Talladega, finally found another excuse to get back here with the NASCAR Legends mod because we have the Lightning McQueen. Now, this is a skin that I threw together. And as you can see, it's not perfect. There's some flickering going on there. There's a couple, uh, obviously it's not great, but it gets the job done, I feel. And we've got ourselves a little Lightning McQueen action here at Talladega. We're gonna jump right into this one. We're on the way with some more NASCAR Legends mod action at Talladega. Now, I feel like Lightning McQueen, you know, he's a fictional character and all, I know that, but I feel like he's a NASCAR legend at this point. He's done a lot for NASCAR, done a lot for the sport. You know, put some eyeballs on it. Got kids interested in it. I think he fits right in. It's good enough for me. I also want to shout out my boy Ludus because this was his suggestion for me to do, so thank you, Ludus, for the idea. I appreciate it. Oh, and there is turn one drama already. Can we sneak by most of it? It looks like, oh no! No, we can't. No, we cannot, and we are absolutely mangled right off the bat, and we got a wobbly wheel, and we're on our lid. That is trouble right off the start. You had to see it coming, really. It happens just about every time. I'm going to go ahead and hit a reset just so I can see the damage on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that thing is destroyed. The whole the whole side of it is just gone, and I look at our poor driver. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna need a chiropractor after that one, so... We'll go ahead and give it a restart and try it again here. Alright, getting ready to go. For attempt number two, Lightning McQueen at Talladega. Back once again, of course, turn one, it strikes. We've been to Talladega, what? Two, three times now? I think this is a, this is our third uh, trip to Talladega as I just put Glenn Roberts in the walls. I'm not paying attention. And I've torn myself all to pieces, and there's accidents taking place behind us, and I just rough up Dave Marcus for the fun of it. But yeah, man, Talladega, it uh, takes no prisoners. Uh, IRL, in real life or in the game, in Wreckfest, the mod is brutal, and the NASCAR Legends mod just amplifies it because of the amount of ludicrous damage that takes place. And I got loose, I thought I had it saved, and I did not. I can still save it here, no, keep it, oh god, not again, no, oh, there it is. Yep, that happens every time. Every time I get nailed by somebody on the straightaway. God, it's it's like mandatory at this point that I, it happens at least once. And they're still coming at me at full speed. Oh, that was close. And Jimmy's going to come in. Is he going to get us? Yes, he is. He knocks us on our roof. We're missing a wheel, so we're definitely down for the count on this one. Jimmy got us, and Jeff's coming through next. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Nice job paying attention there. Put us out of our misery, at least. We can restart now. All right, attempt number three here at Talladega. After we got creamed on the backstretch again. I think we've gotten creamed by somebody. We get stuck sitting in the middle of the track, and somebody comes by and nails us every single time. It's amazing how it managed to happen every time. And there goes my spoiler after touching Ricky Rudd. And Ricky, what are you? You know what? This is what you get, Ricky. That is what you get. Oh, we put him hard in the wall, and he took Jeff with him. The poor guy. And of course, I'm going off of the paint schemes, not really the names. And there is absolute calamity in front of us, and man, did we just narrowly avoid all of that. I'm telling you, man, turn one at the Talladega mod here in Wreckfest has got to be one of the most brutal corners in any game as I get loose. I'm going to get back in line here, get some of that draft. What is going on with Mark Martin's car there? He was talking to him. He was like, he had like a car's mouth there for a minute. I'm telling you, man, it comes full circle. It's weird like that. It's really weird. Oh, Ray, why would you, why would you slow down? Oh, Ray, oh, and DW cleans me out on the way by. And once again, we're going to be stuck on our lid. We're missing a wheel. You kind of need those, so we're definitely down for the count. Once again, we're going to have to restart it. But, man, oh, man, we're having a tough day here at Talladega already. All right, attempt number four underway here. And Talladega, man, it's uh, it's beating us up once again. What incarnation? If you're watching this, which I know you are, brother, time to cover the eyes. You don't want to see this. I should have said that at the beginning. I should have been the disclaimer for you. It's going to brutalize McQueen in this video, unfortunately. But we're going to keep it trying until we take... We got to carry McQueen to victory. We got to do it. 
We gotta do it. It's our it's our goal. It's, oh, and there's trouble all over the place, and there's absolute trouble right there. That's compl oh, I got clipped. Save it. We did, and man, there are all kinds of problems taking place behind us. Those guys are flipping all over the place. Got a little run on the high side here outside Joey Ridley. Oh, we got a, something go. Oh, we got a guy pulling up on the track. Oh, God, shit, the brakes. No, guys, everybody just pile in. And we're destroyed again, and we just got Kevin LePage, everybody. Oh, and we're still getting hit. Are you serious? Oh, here's a great idea. Yeah, great idea. Keep pulling up on the track. That one idiot pulled up. And just destroyed everybody. And now we have to restart this race again. Well, I don't remember the last time I saw something like that. I cannot believe we, we actually got full on Kevin LePage. I don't know that I've ever had that happen to me in Reckless before. That was truly remarkable. And I've got it on footage now, so we'll all be able to see it. In its glory. That was just ridiculous, man. That was such a good run going through. We finally made it off the first lap. And the game is like, nope. Destruction it is. And speaking of destruction, turn one strikes again here. And we've got all kinds of problems up in front of us. Again, DW goes for a wild ride. He's on his lid. Oh, and he's still flipping back there. With a couple of other guys there. And I'm flying off the track. I had to get back on the track here. Get in line. We can finally try and win this race once and for all here. In a run on Roy again, or Ray rather. Oh, we got another guy pulling up on the track. What are you guys doing? He just got somebody. Oh, please don't hit me. There it is. There it is. Two in a row. Two LePages in a row. Oh, look at the problems behind. Oh, look at the problems in front of us. That was like a two part wreck. We actually made it out of that all right, though. All things considered, that was a decent save. We made it through to seventh at least. We're about 13 seconds behind Kyle Petty, who's leading this race right now, and what the heck? Why don't we just go from 7th to 19th to 20th? What? What was that? This is going to have to be like the comeback of the century if I'm going to mount a charge and get a lap that I must seriously lost back. And oh, there's still cars sitting up. Oh, I thought that car was going to hit him. I'm going to make a pass here underneath. Oh, or just come down on me. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for shoving me in that guy was sitting there. Oh, man. I don't know what happened on that attempt. That was just a fail all around because we magically lost the lap for no reason. We got wrecked, but we recovered and we kept going and then whoop. We went from 7th to 20th for no reason. I'm going to hit the butt car while we're at it. Why? Freaking not. At least Kyle Petty wins the race. Congrats, Kyle. All right, back again. For what I believe is attempt number six. I've, I've said it like every time. It's so easy to lose track of how many of these we do. We do just get chewed up and spit out like we do every single time at Talladega. It's unbelievable. Oh, man. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, you know what? I don't even feel bad. See you, Jimmy. That's what you get. Take your seven championships. And go enjoy them while eating the wall. Oh, and there's trouble in front of us again. I, I say it like I'm shocked or I'm surprised that there's an accident taking place. There's a huge one. Yep. Oh, my God. That dude was doing, like, cyclone flips. That was amazing. That was an incredible disaster back there. That was actually... That guy just got launched into all kinds of directions. Get a pass the lead here. You're getting kind of close. That car's scattered across the field. That was a close one right there. Oh, is he going to... Oh, no! Come on! Oh, I'm going to save it, though. Come on, keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it. Keep your... Oh, what a save. That might be the best save of my driving life right there. That was incredible. We were completely... We were like 10 feet off the ground. Come back down and just mash the gas. Get it back in the right direction. We only lost a couple of spots, too. We're still in the top five, for crying out loud. I just don't think we're going to have enough to get it. We, we're making up ground, but not fast enough. And there's a big X in front of me, and the 22 is just going to finish me off. And that's a hard hit into the wall. Oh, God, guys, please split me. No, they didn't. No, of course, they didn't. Why would they? And we're going to tire again, too. We just lost one. Come on, man. We're so close. It was the last lap and everything. 
We almost had it, and I can't even control the car. This thing is completely toasted, evidently. The, the wheels are gone. I'm losing- I'm missing two wheels. One on each side. Oh, we're just gonna go flying backwards down the little embankment here now. Oh, okay, cool. We'll just go park it in the garage here while I have literally no control over this whatsoever. That's pretty hilarious right there. Oh, finally the brakes work. Well, I guess we just get to see, sit here and think about what just happened to us. Alright, attempt. I don't even know what number it is anymore, and I don't really care. This is getting kind of ridiculous at this point. That it's taken us this long to try and get a win here in Talladega. I don't know how many, like, what their attempts record is, and there goes our spoiler. Thanks, Ricky. Thanks, Ricky. Once again, you just felt compelled to take the spoiler off my car. I don't know why I'm mad about that, because in theory, that would make me faster, but it's still, it's the principle of being hit, and there's trouble in front of me. Go figure. I think that's Richard Petty back there getting roughed up. Poor guy. We actually got ourselves a little run going here on the outside. Not bad. Not a bad start. Not bad. Uh, Earl Ross on my inside here. You got Donnie Allison. Oh, why, Earl? Why? Earl, why? What, like, what was the point of that? Oh, he's gonna pull back up, and he gets clobbered. Oh, he's doing all kinds of flips up there. Earl, you idiot. That's what you get? Oh, my goodness, that tied car almost cleaned me out, too. I just saw my light flash before my eyes. That thing was coming for me down the track, man. That was close. Yeah. This is going to just be another situation where the comeback, but not enough, and we're going to get turned again by Bobby Allison. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you. This close to the end. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's just magnificent. Yeah, no. Keep going. Yeah, no, I didn't want to finish the race anyway. Go ahead. Take your time. Yeah, there goes a the wheel. Awesome. Who needs a right front? You know what? This, this seems like something McQueen would do. We're right here. The finish line is literally... Right here, we'll just limp it across to get a finish out of it, I guess. I don't, it's worthless at this point. But we did it. Hey, hey, we finished the race finally, everybody. We finished 11th. Wow, what a champion. Wow. Alright, well, you know what? Obviously, we're not satisfied with that. So, let's run it back and do it again. Alright, getting ready to go. Once again! Here at Talladega. I don't know why. I don't know how. Well, some way, we are going to win this race. I refuse to give up without winning this race. If I win this race, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> there you go. What a proposition. Anyway, we got to try and win this race because it's getting kind of annoying at this point. And there's the turn one. Hilarity, the nine car is having all sorts of trouble back there. Doing cartwheels and who knows what else. Well, we made it through the turn one once again. The turn one, the first corner. Donnie's going to squeeze me in the wall again. Thanks, Donnie. You tried. You tried. And it's the thought that counts, so I'll remember that. Well, this car look good, man. I, I know it's not the greatest skin in the world, but it at least looks good. Try that inside lane here so we can get a run going on some guys here. Get inside of Donnie. We've got old Earl Ross, who Earl loves to wreck me. So, you know what, Earl? That's for you, buddy. Yeah, get out of shape. Go crash back there, will you? Ah, oh, he saved it. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, Earl. Way to go. I'm not even sure who Earl Ross is, if I'm honest. I consider myself pretty well versed in NASCAR history, but I'm... Don't remember the name of Earl Ross. I'm gonna have to hit a racing reference after this, <laughs> this video is done. But, uh, anyway, we got a big run here. Look at the run we got. They just, I don't know what it is, but when they're in a pack, they slow down. We get a nice run on the outside of old Neil Bonnet there. Got a run on the outside of Mark Martin. He's not going to give me any more room, I guess. He's going to squeeze me to the outside wall. I'm bouncing off the wall. All right. We got something cooking here again. Wait, what? There's two Mark Martins. <laughs> what? Why is there two Mark Martins? I've never seen that before. I've seen duplicate, like, paint schemes. But I've never seen duplicate names. Well, I've seen it all now. That's just ridiculous. The concept of anything else going on today is really understandable, but the two Mark Martins, now that's just taking it too far. Oh, and he's going to hit me too. Oh. 
I think that was our fastest lap so far. 59.17. I'll take it. That's a lot slower than an actual Talladega lap, but we're tapping out at like 170, and we're only doing 150 in the corners, so. Fair play. I guess when they're doing 200 in real life, you expect to be a little bit slower, huh? But we're up into the top five. We're up into fourth. We got Ray Elder in front of us here in the City Chevrolet from Days of Thunder, which somebody did ask me to drive one of those. And I will. I promise at some point I will. We got we got in front of him. We got Kyle Petty in front of him, and then we got Kevin Harvick leading the race. So there's your hierarchy of men that we need to pass before this race is over. Make that move on the outside here. We got something. We got a cooking. We got something cooking here. Can I make the move on the outside? Oh, you gotta run. The city Chevrolet's gotta run. Hey, man, it's really easy. Oh, dang, there goes the spoiler. Hey, there should be some extra, so, some extra speed there. We lost a little downforce. But Kyle Petty on our inside here. Oh, we got, he way slowed up in the corners. They're gonna get a big run on him. And we got Kevin Harvick. One more man to hunt down. We've got almost half of a lap left. Once we get down this back stretch a little bit more, we'll be halfway home on the final lap. Can I get Kevin Harvick here? It's shaping up to be one of those fantastic Atlanta finishes, as DW used to say, man. We've had, have we ever finished this race without a photo finish? I mean, I think every Talladega race has ended with a photo finish at this point. That's getting, <laughs> and it's shaping up to be another one because he's getting a run on my inside. I don't want to have to rough him up. I remember what happened one of the last times I tried to rough somebody up to win and I got wrecked through the grass, but we got ourselves a finish shaping up here. Can I get him? I've got the lead just barely. He gives me a hit. That's going to make him squirrely, and we're going to steal it by a nose again at Talladega with another fantastic finish. Finally, we secured the victory. Man, that was like eight or nine attempts. It had to be. It was a ton. But you know what? We've been doing it for this long. We're not quite done yet. I'm going to take a page out of the Cody H Gaming book of mayhem. And we're going to take McQueen back out on the track, and we're going to turn around and run backwards. Here we come. I, I, we got to meet him somewhere down here. I don't really see him off in the distance. Oh, oh, are they there? Oh, they're there. They, like, take a minute to render in. Let me see. Who can we get? Can we get? Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, and then I hit him hard. That was a terrible head-on collision right there. But not enough to take us out. Oh, and we get a nice little little hit right there at the end, too. I'm not satisfied with that. We're going to do it again. Oh, no. If I don't miss the first guy this time, I might have a better shot here. I'm just going to kind of get it sideways into it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that, oh, my goodness me. Oh, we are destroyed. We just hit McQueen so hard he's turning blue. Look at it. Look at the destruction. Oh, there goes the nine car. Oh, and he creams the country time car that was sitting there. Well, I'm not going to stop yet. I mean, I'm having too much fun with that. We got to do it again. So that the skid part was a good idea. Let me just try a flat out head on hit. Oh, and there he goes. He got he got absolutely nailed, man. That was beautiful. I still got firepower. Come on, let's go gonna sit out here and wait for somebody to come by and hit me come on who's gonna do it it's the bud car oh t-bone oh we lost the wheel that time yeah, that'll do it oh are we gonna get hit again yep it was kawiki kawiki got me oh there's a few more coming come on get the last one in there you go finally got a wreck and that was the city chevrolet too let's do one more before we call it a day Come on, I'm going to try that skid method. That seemed to work the best here. Oh, I timed it a little wrong. Still a massive hit. Oh, massive hits happening further down here. Let's pull right back out on the bud car again. Oh, we're getting tossed around good this time. We've lost the wheel. We're in all kinds of trouble. We got bent wheels. We got a missing wheel. Our engine is completely exposed. And uh, let's see, does this thing still drive here? It's still got a little power left in it. Can I finish it off here? We got a couple of them coming. Can I make it there? This thing's got no power. The one wheel. No, there's no chance. They're going to get way biased. Well, I can't be satisfied with that. Come on. We got to finish McQueen off here. Some victory destruction. We finally got ourselves a win. Let's end it the right way with cause of a little mayhem. Just look at the destruction. 
Oh my goodness. Somebody's got to tally up how many times I've said destruction in this video. Here we go. Here come the leaders. Let's pile into them. Give me one last shot, boys. There it is. That was kind of anticlimactic, but it did the job. It got done what we wanted to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to call it a day. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope some of you at least enjoyed that video because that was fun to make. So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you could possibly imagine. And thank you guys for your support as well. I really appreciate it. So that'll do it for this one. I'll see you later. Peace.